While typical kids are glued to SpongeBob's crazy adventures after school, Johan Ghazali is demolishing grown-up professional fighters in the one championship ring. This young powerhouse is no ordinary child, he's a wrecking ball, smashing opponents twice his size with jaw-dropping skills way beyond his years. A normal boy. Johan Jojo Ghazali was born on November 14, 2006 in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. He came from an interesting mixed family. His father was part Indonesian and part Japanese Malaysian. His mother was an American from the state of New Mexico. Jojo's parents had an unusual story of how they met. They both loved Muay Thai fighting when they were younger. Jojo's dad was taking Muay Thai classes while going to university in Oregon, USA. That's where he met Jojo's mom, who was also training Muay Thai. They fell in love because of their shared passion for the martial art. After school, they got married and decided to move back to Malaysia to settle down and start a family. Jojo grew up in a normal home with three brothers and one sister. Even though both his mom and dad had been Muay Thai fighters themselves, they didn't push any of the kids into the sport. Muay Thai was always around their house, but just a normal part of their life. The parents wanted their children to choose their own paths. As a young boy, Jojo didn't have any big interests or hobbies. He wasn't really into sports or physical activities. Jojo was on the shy side and lacked self-confidence. He kind of drifted through his days without any drive or ambition. All that changed after his family moved to Sarawak, Malaysia in 2015 when Jojo was 9 years old. One day, they drove past a local Muay Thai gym. Jojo's mom asked the kids if anyone wanted to try taking a Muay Thai class. Having nothing better to do, Jojo said he would give it a shot. Little did he know, that decision would lead to amazing things. From the very first Muay Thai class, Jojo was hooked. He had found his calling in the art of eight limbs. Practicing the martial art made Jojo feel powerful and confident in a way he had never felt before. Finally, he had discovered his passion and purpose in life. Muay Thai quickly became an obsession as Jojo trained diligently every single day. An unstoppable champion. Even though Muay Thai was part of Jojo's family, his parents didn't force him into it. They allowed Jojo to find his own motivation for the martial art. And once he discovered his fiery passion, there was no turning back. Jojo attacked his training with an intensity and determination far beyond his years. Jojo's natural talents combined with his tireless work ethic quickly made him the top youth Muay Thai fighter in all of Malaysia. From 2017 to 2019, the young phenom won the Malaysian National Championship an incredible three years in a row, establishing his dominance. But Jojo's ambition stretched far beyond Malaysia. In 2017 and 2018, he tested himself against the world's best at the IFMA Bangkok competitions, earning bronze medals each year. Then in 2019, Jojo won the gold medal at the biggest stage of all, the prestigious IFMA Asian Games in Abu Dhabi. The entire world took notice of the Malaysian prodigy. With his otherworldly skills and unblemished record of success, it was only a matter of time before Jojo attracted the attention of one championship, Asia's biggest martial arts promotion seen by millions of fans across the globe. Jojo knew one was his destiny. He had to prove himself worthy of the big leagues. His fights. After his explosive debut win in one championship, people knew Jojo Ghazali was a special fighter. But the 17-year-old was just getting started on his journey to become a superstar. His first big test would come against another skilled teen fighter named Paditsuk Fairtax at one Friday night 6 in February 2023. Many thought Jojo and Paditsuk would have an epic, close battle. Instead, Jojo made a huge statement by knocking Paditsuk out in just 16 seconds. It was a shocking and amazing finish that showed everyone Jojo's incredible punching power. That big knockout win was only the first of many statements Jojo would make that year. 
In his next four fights in the One Friday Fight series, he won every single bout by scoring crazy, must-see knockout finishes. His performances were so dominant that the One Championship bosses knew they had a future superstar. At One Friday Fights 18 in May, Jojo faced a tough opponent in Tai Soljor Piakutai. After two rounds of rough back and forth action, the Malaysian warrior dug deep and knocked his opponent out cold with under 90 seconds left. It proved Jojo had as much heart and toughness as talent. The wins and knockouts just kept coming for the Muay Thai phenom. In July at One Friday Fights 25, Jojo took on the very durable Samurai Siopal in an action-packed war. Both fighters pushed each other to their limits, but in the end, Jojo's superior power and precise striking earned him a hard-fought unanimous decision victory. With each amazing performance, the hype around Johan Ghazali grew bigger and bigger. But the bigger the stage, the better he performed. Finally, it all came down to one massive fight in October at one Friday Fights 36 against Russia's Temirlan Bekmurzev. This was Jojo's chance to earn a lucrative multi-fight contract with one championship. To get the deal, he had to win this one final bout. The fight took place at the legendary Lumpini Boxing Stadium in Bangkok, Thailand. A perfect stage for the rising superstar. Staying true to his 2023 form, Jojo delivered again with a spectacular performance. After an intense battle, he ended the fight by landing one perfectly placed body shot that instantly crumbled Bekmurzev to the ground. In that moment, the Malaysian star had punched his ticket to the big leagues of one championship. In the blink of an eye, Jojo had gone from being a normal kid in Malaysia to an international superstar. All his years of super hard training had paid off by accomplishing his dream, earning a huge multi-fight deal with the biggest martial arts promotion in the world. As the crowd cheered loudly, Jojo allowed himself a brief moment to appreciate his massive achievement. But the fiery warrior quickly turned his mind to his future goals, meeting his idol and continuing his rise. After that triumphant night when Jojo Ghazali earned his one championship contract, another one of his dreams came true. The teenager got to meet his longtime idol and hero, Rotang Jitmuang Non. Rotang is the reigning one flyweight Muay Thai world champion. He welcomed the starstruck Jojo into his home. Among other amazing things, Rotang showed Jojo a few of his signature moves. He even let the awestruck youngster try on his prestigious championship belt. For Jojo, getting to spend time with the legendary Rotang was a dream come true. The two fighters compete in the same weight division, so Rotang provided incredible inspiration for the young phenom's future ambitions of world title greatness. Jojo didn't waste any time putting the lessons from his idol into practice. Just two months after that momentous meeting, he stepped back into the one circle to face a dangerous new opponent. Edgar Tabarez from Mexico. Tabarez was no easy test. He held the WBC Muay Thai Championship title and had recently challenged Rotang for his belt. Despite Tabarez's experience and credentials, the always hungry Jojo felt more motivated than ever to prove his world class ability. When the opening bell rang, the Malaysian warrior came out firing with relentless pressure and creative striking combos. He continuously walked Tabarez down, chopping away at his base with blisteringly low kicks. Jojo's intensity simply could not be matched. As the first round progressed, Jojo found the perfect moment to unleash one of Rodtang's specialized techniques, the crippling left body kick. He drilled it into Tabarez's midsection with bone-shuddering impact. The pain Mexican immediately crumpled to the canvas like a rag doll succumbing to Jojo's power at just 36 seconds of the very first round. With another highlight reel finish, Jojo Ghazali sent a clear message that he would be challenging for the one flyweight Muay Thai world title sooner than later. In his eyes, it was simply a matter of fate living up to his name's meaning. As Jojo explained, my name Johan means champion in Malay, so I will forever be on a mission to prove and live up to my name. I will be the youngest one flyweight Muay Thai world champion ever. 
Those weren't just brash words from a cocky upstart. It was a fact stated with absolute certainty by a once-in-a-lifetime martial arts talent. Jojo had studied diligently since childhood, analyzing fights with his mother's guidance. He simply does not know how to take a backward step in the ring.